preview. Today I'm going to show you how to make an atomizer out of basic ED equipment. Background. Intranasal administration of critical medications is getting more and more popular because it's much faster than IM administration and it's great for patients who don't have an IV. We've all heard of naloxone for opioid overdose, but some others include midazolam, fentanyl, ketamine, lidocaine, and even my personal favorite, haloperidol. The rate-limiting step in giving intranasal medications is getting the atomizer tip. A lot of departments don't stock them at all or keep them locked away somewhere where no one can find them in an urgent situation. Procedure. Making your own atomizer is easy. First, you just take an 18-gauge angiocath like this and then fold over the plastic catheter like this. Wrap a narrow strip of tape around it to hold it down. Next, take an insulin syringe and poke one hole in the tubing. Do it just proximal to the kink you made when you folded it. Try your best to align the needle from anterior to posterior along the axis of the angiocatheter, and not perpendicularly. Now screw the angiocath onto a 3cc syringe containing your medication like this. You have to push pretty hard on the plunger for this to work, so it's difficult if you use larger syringes. The atomized medication usually does come out at a slight angle, but in the close confines of the nose, it doesn't really matter much because everything's just ricocheting off everything else. Put the angiocath in the patient's nose, pinch their nostril together to keep the medication from leaking out, and push the plunger hard and fast. It really works. And you don't have to wait until you have a sick patient to make these. Make them ahead of time and keep them handy for your next shift.